All right, guys, here we are with part two of my craft room tour. LOL, yeah, right. Did y'all see my thumbnail? Wasn't that beautiful? That's from Wayfair. <laughs> that was a Wayfair thumbnail, but it was very nice. It was the picture that I liked the most um, of my dream craft room in my dream house that's made of brick on the top of a hill overlooking the Atlantic Ocean way up in Vermont <laughs> with my trailer house parked right beside it. Oh man, that's nice. That's real nice. Where if you f feel like leaving your house and you walk outside and you got a trailer parked in the yard, that's nice. And I know somebody that has that too. And from time to time, they take advantage of it. But that just popped in my head, actually. And then whenever you want to leave, you can just leave. It don't even have to really be a trailer. It could just be a little mini motor home or a little mini camper van where you can just be at home when you're not at home. So there's that. But anyhow, anywho, in any way, part two. Th this you guys have seen. Most of you have seen. I have to have that respect for my new subscribers, my new subbies, because I have a lot of videos and I have playlists. Don't forget that, guys. I have created playlist called sub and then colon, and then it has the title of what those videos are going to be about. And sub means subscriber. These are subscriber videos. Um, so anyhow, check out my playlist and let's get to going here. Um, I used to have my other playlists, my private playlists used to be public until somebody had hacked my YouTube account and they were watching things that I had purchased and I couldn't watch it because they were watching it and all this other kind of mess. But movies that I purchased, I would have them in my playlist and I would have them available to the public. So that, I mean, don't you love that when someone else bought a movie and maybe you didn't want to pay the money for it or you couldn't afford it and then it's there for you free because someone else purchased it and you can enjoy it that's what I was doing you know and I had a lot of movies and TV shows from past and and current times that other people could enjoy you know but somebody had hacked my account and that's where that was wrong you know you can watch my movies that I purchase off of your own account for free because I have it available to the public you know but for you to hack my account th that that's when I had to make so many things private so now you will never see all of my playlists except for what is for the subscribers so you know one rotten apple right okay so up there you guys most of you remember those were items that I got the night of the we had a car accident I went <laughs> where we went to TJ Maxx after the car accident and I purchased those things all those other things are thrift store finds Gary's little drum set that he never used that I use and play from time to time and these this is my collection of junk journals travelers notebooks that are semi junk journal because of the way that I decorated them. I no longer keep them in my storage luggage because it's too many. It went from being just this one and this one to being this one and 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 this one. And this is just ephemera. This is just cardstock ephemera that I um, purchased from a scrapbook that you guys saw from Stamperia. And then there's some stickers up there that need to go uh, into a project. So this is my project box. Um, y'all stay tuned for Black Mountain Faith because there's some beautiful printables that she has coming out that is going to just, you're going to, your ink in your printer is going to run dry. So I'm telling you right now, stock up on some printer ink because <laughs> these beautiful ephemera that she's creating is so phenomenal. Wait till the video, her video comes out. So y'all stay tuned to Black Mountain Plans. Um, but this is going to be on, I think, yeah, this is going to be on her Ed, Etsy shop, I think, and it'll be under Black Mountain Faith, and it's just, oh, such beautiful things. All right, so let's go on down. 
This here has nothing to do with journaling stuff. It's just some flowers and some dolls that I collected throughout the years and some in my little faith cards and just different things like that. My little money bank and my eclipse glasses, nothing. So down here is where I keep things that I'm not using <laughs> that much. But no, that's not true because I pull them from time to time. So now take that back. This is my big happy planner that you guys have seen. And if you require flip through, just let me know and I will kindly, happily flip through the decorated pages in this big happy planner. And this one here is dedicated to my cats, to all cats, dogs. This is my feline. And this one is my um, lettering. And this one is my Bible study, faith, prayer, everything. This was inspired by Cherie McGinnis. And this came from Personalize My Planner. And I definitely recommend that you guys check her out. And um, this came from Planners Anonymous. And this, of course, came from Happy Planner. And guys, don't forget, if you are a VIP member with Happy Planner, you will get $5 shipping on no matter what you buy, as opposed to $8. And if you are a first responder, you also get, I think, 15% off your purchase. I use Gary's first responder all the time. <laughs> so, and now I've built up some credit. So I got some, I got some free money to spend, but I'm saving it though. Um, so yeah, check those, check them out. Um, if you like hand lettering, Happy Planner has a sale. I don't know if it's still going on, but check it out where it's only $6 or yeah, $6 and some change for the lettering book. You can never have too much of this because, you know, you keep practicing and practicing and practicing. And so stock up on it while it's only $6. And then here is just extra pens and markers, brush markers, and different miscellaneous butterfly pens. Uh, excuse me, pens. Butterfly pens. P-I-N. You know, like tax. Haven't y'all ever noticed how Southern people say pens my ink pens <laughs> instead of ink pens <laughs> all right i'm looking for y'all to lay lay on me i'm looking for y'all to come after me um in the comments on this one because i'm making fun of y'all it's my ink pen see my ink pen <laughs> this is not a pen this is a pen p-e-n oh i love messing with country folk because i got the best friends that have that strong country accent and i pick it up sometimes so and I love making fun of them I have a friend that lives in Mississippi and I'm not getting off the subject just hear me out and he doesn't say shopping cart well what other word is there except saying shopping cart or just I gotta go get a cart he says buggy I'm going to go <laughs> he said I'm going to go get me a buggy I said what the heck is a buggy <laughs> y'all I'm sorry that was funny to me I'm sorry but that's what he calls it a buggy so I always tease him about that you know like you you're not going to survive here in in the upper northern states because you two country <laughs> no nobody know what no buggy is I am in the upper northern states we we're on the Mason, we're still on the Mason Dixon but we're above the Mason Dixon line that's close enough to the northern states we're not considered a southern state even though we may sound a little bit southern sometimes so you know you know he had to put his two cents in that man all right so any <laughs> but he's my best friend y'all he's not just my husband he is my best friend like I swear I've played in a sandbox with him in another life or in heaven or somewhere but he is my best friend and it's 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 awesome it is yeah, just, like it's awesome I know I, I don't like him I don't like him I love them, but I don't like them. <laughs> so anyhow, this is my um, weeks, but there's no weeks in there because I don't use weeks anymore. So I just save it. Maybe I might sell it one day or donate it, but that's that for now. And these are just nostalgia. This is where I keep ink pens from back in the day that you don't won't be able to find anymore. That if you find them, it's just for collector's items. They don't write. And this is my Snoopy um, pencil case. Love this because y'all know I love Snoopy. 
and these are the stickers that I have shared with you all that I gotten for five dollars six dollars over at Aliexpress so that's all filled up and I'm trying not to buy any more so that is that so now we can go ahead on to my sticker storage I mean not sticker storage my stationary storage so hold on just a moment all right guys I am back just like that but I've been gone now for about an hour because I had a whole bunch of things that came up that needed to be dealt with so I'm glad to see that I was able to pause this for um, that amount of time. All right, so here is my storage. It In this luggage, you can get at Lo uh, Hobby Lobby for $65. I got mine on sale at Hobby Lobby, the original one that I had that looked, had a prettier design than this. Some of you who've been with me for a while remember that. Um, but this one I got off of Poshmark for only $30. I made an offer to her and it was free shipping. $30 and free shipping for this. So she was really trying to get rid of it. So I will share with you what I have in there and hopefully you may see something that you like. Um, in this front part, I have a pair of reading glasses. And let's see, there's something else in here. Oh, okay this right here is a piece of cardboard and I open it up and really all it's for is just gluing like if I'm gonna glue something I can just put this down and glue over it so that's really I just keep that there for that and here are just some pens um, do you guys remember this right here is a ink pen? I will. This is the Papermate pen that had the rubber grip protector on it. This is one of those pens that I have in my um, that little nostalgia rum. That thing. Uh, not rum. That thing that I showed y'all. The pencil, the pencil case that's shaped like a pencil, and I said that I have all my pens that you can't find anymore that was one that's one of them all right up here is just velcro down and you can just pull it off and it's just a little waste basket so if you're cutting up paper and you just need it to toss it somewhere then you can toss it there okay so that's what that is now we're going to just do this right here unzip this and we're going to go down and in here as you can see is all of my large tools this here I recommend I have said this over and over this is you can get from Amazon and it's the easy runner tape this is not double-sided tape um, is it double-sided no yeah it is yeah this is double-sided tape and um, I love this stuff see how big this handle is so when you're just putting stuff down and it's refillable and a lot of people use those little tiny things for um, tape they're they're so much better off with this <laughs> I mean but on the go of course you would want the little small stuff but I like this because it has this great handle and it's refillable um, and here is a pair of um, hole punch. This is a larger hole punch. It's supposed to be a larger hole punch and I got this from Amazon and I, it came in a two pack and I just took the purple and the pink and put them together. Those are pretty colors. So that's what that is. Oh, and it has a, if you can see, it has, you lift this and this is where all your waste goes in there. And then this is my small one. And this one has a black leather or plasticky waste container. And see, this is a smaller one. And here is just my little fancy, like if you want to make a Dutch door, this is great for Dutch doors. And it just, you know, you put your paper in and it gives it that design. I like that. And then this is a little rounder. 
Okay, and then this is some double-sided tape. Don't ask me why I have it, but I do. It's just, I don't know. And then here is my refill. And I get this on subscribe and save with Amazon. And then there is my paper cutter. And there also is my scoring board. And for those who don't know, a scoring board is just if you want to fold a piece of paper, you want to fold something and you want it perfectly folded and you're measuring, you're making a, you're making a pocket or you're making some type of whatever. That's what that scoring board is. And it comes with a bone folder with it. And there's that. So that is what those things are. And things just got dark because I forgot to charge my phone. And I have already started this video, guys, and I am not about to delete this video. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to try and rush and hurry up. Let's just leave this open, and I will sort things out in a minute. Hold on. All right, now, when you zip this part... And you lift it up, and there you have it. I have all of my different things that I store in there. Pencil grips, and stickers, and rings, and here is just bands, and um, washi cards, and knife blade refills, and um, things of that nature. And here is all of my different expander rings and then inside of here we have two sticker books one is for boxes and one is for quotes and they are from amber plans are day and from calva plan and then we have these little pulleys that i put on here that i got from claire's and i just zip them so i love the little keychain stuff on the side here you have a pocket and in here there is nothing i have nothing in there and then down here in the inside, you will find that I have my paint and I have my bag that I keep my washies and my washi cutters in. And then here, as you can see, is my happy planner bag. And that video will have to be a part three and I will go through it thoroughly and let you see everything that is inside. And then on here is, there's nothing inside of here. But see how you have all of this room. You have all of these organizational pockets. And then right here, we have another pocket. And that's where I have my Mojo Jojo Plans dates. And then down here and below is a sticker storage where I got that too from Mojo Jojo Plans. And it's all of this, my favorite florals. That's all that's in there is just floral stickers that have been stored that I'm hoarding. Those are my favorite ones and they're in those little plastic sleeves. And then these are all of my favorite washies, thin, small, thick, wide, plaid, floral, you name it. And of course my ink. And that is what is inside of there. Now on this side here, I have nothing but on inside of here is a Happy Planner floral book. It's all of my favorite florals that I put in and made a DIY sticker book. Okay. And then here on this side is all of my DIY sticker book from um, Agenda 52, something like that, from Hobby Lobby. And it's nothing but dates. It's a date book. And here is those little clamps to hold your book down when you when it's real thick. And then here is my small stick. Gosh, let me fix this freaking thing. All right, and here is this, which you guys have seen. These are miscellaneous tiny stickers, doodles, little things that I have no other place to put it. These are just little miscellaneous tiny stickers. And now I'm going to close this lid and show you the back. 
pure luggage. This comes all the way up and you can wheel it anywhere you want. You can t attach things to it. It's wonderful. I absolutely love it. And as you can see, it kinda kinda leans to the forward a little bit, kind of, because I have it so stuffed. But I like this because no matter where I go, I can take this and I will have everything that I absolutely need to do whatever it is that I wanna do, unless I need something from over there. And I told you guys that I was going to share with you what was in there. And I'm gonna do that right now, hold on. So I had to finish where I left off at. In this basket is just no, more notebooks. These right here are all notebooks, your narrow notebooks. And I have mostly decorated them. There's scrapbook paper that I have cut to decorate these. Not all of these are fully decorated. Here's the one that Cherie had, and she said you can get this on Amazon. I love the feel of this. You won't know unless you buy it. It's very soft and velvety type feel. I don't know what kind of paper this is, but it is so soft. And so I decorated that. Let me give you a little quick flip. And those are uh, stickers from the... It's a sticker book from Planners Anonymous, and I think it's... The well, oh gosh, I can't think. I think it's the wellness one, something wellness, and it might not even be wellness, but it they have it on um, eBay, and there's a lady who sells these sticker books, and it's just beautiful. If you need to know, let me know, and I will get the name of what sticker book this is. But it's only one sheet, one sheet that has all of these pretty florals on it. And these, of course, you know, are from May Tipton, Fruit of the Spirit. And I just messed, did a whole lot of messing around with it. And then I made that from on the first page. So that's what I did with that book. So all of these are my narrows, and they will go in one of that those traveler's notebooks that I showed you on the shelf. All of these back here are the wide the 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 a5s and the uh, i want to say not b not b's <sighs> if you're thinking in terms of planner perfect you have this size and this is what she just calls wide and so i have you know decorated that with different pictures, different stickers, and what have you. And then, as you all remember, I had the ones from the Dollar Tree, which are the same size. They're just not rounded at the ends. And then I decorated them. And I'm just doing a quick flip because I, I don't have much time. <laughs> and then there's the ones that you would consider wide, that Planner Perfect would consider wide. Not wide, A5, excuse me, A5. And these are decorated. So when I'm ready to go, I, I'm ready to go. I don't have to decorate each page before I go to write in it. It's They're already fully decorated. All I have to do is just write in it. Um, so that goes here. And that is considered wide when it comes to Planner Perfect. And these are considered... I mean, I'm sorry... That's considered A5, this is considered wide. But as you can see, the one from the Dollar Tree is a little bit longer, a little bit wider. But it'll work. And uh, let's see what else that I wanna show, I'm gonna show you guys. This is another one from Planner Perfect. And you guys have seen this one where I messed up the Ocean City thing and I put the tabs in. Um. So yeah, that's what that is. And then to wrap things up, here is all of my storages. This is where I keep all of my hand lettering. This is all refills for hand lettering. And then this right here is all spiritual things. Refills that I'm going to use for 
um, personalize my planner and all the things that are guided journaling for faith. And then here is just all journal paper, lined, dotted. That's what all that is. And then this right here is calendars. Is it, is this calendars? Let's see. I'm not sure. One or the other. And then this one right here is all something else. <laughs> what is that? Oh, this one is the calendars. That's the one that is the vertical calendars. So everything that I would need is right in here. And I just come and I just refill when I need it to be refilled. So we are at 25 minutes. So I think I'm going to have a little bit of time to go ahead and not do a part three, but to literally just give you a quick look at what is inside of this bag. And I hate to do that because I want to take my time. Um, I, I rip that. So I, I mean to take care of it. Um, sorry that the camera has no light, but you guys have seen this a million times. This is my pencil board, but I use it for cutting and stuff. Yeah, cutting, not gluing, but I use it for cutting. If I do use it for gluing, I'll wa wash it off. So I keep that in there. Sometimes I just grab this and I'm good. I don't need the whole cart. In here is just more tools. Undo, all types of glues and white Tombow uh, whiteouts and scissors and various knives and all of the tools that I would need and I have I love these cases I got these on Amazon and it's mostly Fisker stuff in there as you can see so there's a lot of good tools in there I feel like I'm cheating y'all out of a really good video and I apologize all right, so let's open this over this way. Now this here is all of my inks, my distress inks, my blenders, and all of my other types of stuff and refills. So all of this is just ink stuff. And there's also some acrylic inkers inside of there. And there's Bible scriptures and flowers and all kind of nice things, but there's all the acrylic stampers. And then on this side here, and you guys have seen this a million and one times, but for those who haven't, this is where I have all of my markers, all kinds, brush pens, highlighters, all of that is in here and they're organized. So that's what I keep in there. And then that's it. That's it for what's in there. So we are at 28 minutes. So let me go ahead and flip this thing around so that you can see the markers right there. And on in this side, I have nothing in this pocket, nothing at all. So guys, I'm going to end the video here. And there's one quick final look at all of my little storage stuff i hope y'all enjoyed this video guys look at gappy yeah look at gappa that um cover is on the floor because gary was in here with me and he gets cold i get hot so we were going to have a meal and just lean up against that couch right there and watch a movie and but we're waiting for our food to get delivered and that's what that is right there so um but gappy's been losing weight guys i'm jealous <laughs> she's been losing weight there was a misdiagnosis with a different doctor and so she just dropped a lot of weight i don't know if you guys can tell that she's smaller but i'm so happy for her she's more movable playing mobile and playing around because she doesn't have that weight on her i'm glad somebody in the house losing weight <laughs> but you know, it, it's like a miracle weight loss, guys. She just started dropping, you know. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I don't want to. I want to chat with you guys. And I wanted to give you guys a better video, you know. But my battery is dying. I have no flash. And we've got food that's on the way. So 
I guess I just didn't pick the best time to make the video. I wasn't paying attention to what time it was. But I wanted to get it done this weekend. That was my plan. So I am going to go ahead and just say thank you if you were able to make it through this entire video. Thank you. I am grateful. I appreciate it. And Cherie, shout out to you, my girl. Shout out to all of you. All of you. There's one lady whose name I cannot remember her name. Uh, but she, her picture, her profile picture is her in her car. And she has her hair in a, in a natural hairstyle. And she's so supportive. And I love her to death. And I can't think of her name. And Travel Lady and Kalani and all of you all. And Lee and Kim and Lisa and Vicky. All of y'all. Thank y'all so, so much for hanging out with me. And I mean, I'm grateful. I mean that. Oh, you know what? I got to tell. I know y'all say I pick on Cherie all the time. I love picking on Cherie. That's my girl. Look. Gary said, <laughs> Cherie, I had the Bible scriptures, right? It's like Sh Cherie and her Bible scriptures. Cherie got Bible scriptures written on everything. She got Bible scriptures written in books. She's got Bible scriptures written in little books. She's got Bible scriptures written in um, on toilet paper, toilet tissue. Bible scriptures written on toilet tissue and put some stickers on it. She got... <laughs> Bible scriptures written in the refrigerator on the wall. There's Bible scriptures just as she write Bible scriptures on everything. Everything and anything. Oh, I laugh so hard, y'all. I gotta go. I can't help it, Sheree. <laughs> so, the cardboard. Hey, look. No, Oscar. Don't throw that Amazon box away. I can cut that up and write some Bible scriptures on it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll see, see y'all later. Bye. <laughs>